guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Tess and in this channel I share all about my experiences living and studying abroad so in today's video I'm gonna be telling you guys uh, what uh, the Italian scholarship actually offer and uh, what you stand to gain once you get, uh, you are lucky to get uh, an Italian scholarship so let's get right into the video okay guys so uh, Italian scholarships uh, are offered every year so the Italian government offers uh, scholarship grants uh, every year to Italian and international students so you really can stand a chance of getting scholarship and I can say that Italians are pretty generous when it comes to these scholarships and especially if you come from low-income family low background countries you really do stand uh, a high chance of getting this scholarship so if you can uh, apply uh, you can just take advantage of this and uh, try and study in Italy because uh, the advantages are there for studying in this scholarship because they cover pretty much most of the things you need as, as a student uh, to be able to study comfortably so um, this grant usually uh, offers few things again um, I can say that uh, there are general things which this scholarship do offer but you find that it does differ from region to region university to university so you can find that some regions are offering these other regions are offering these so it does differ or it does depend on the region or the university but there are definitely general things that this scholarship do offer so uh one of the thing is that uh it all pays for your tuition fee so this scholarship covers for your tuition fee you pay your tuition uh, they pay your tuition fee then also the uh it covers your accommodation in the student hostel so normally every university has uh student hostels and so you tend to get uh, a room uh in these uh hostel so the scholarship will cover for your accommodation in that year then also um they do offer uh like your feeding so uh wherever you're studying they usually do have a mensa so they give you a mensa card uh that is the school canteen where you go and you can eat so normally they offer lunch and dinner most of the time uh during the weekdays so you go with your mensa card and you can eat uh for lunch and dinner in this uh, mensa or in this canteen then also they give you um yearly uh like upkeep fee which is usually around 5200 euro uh that but it's usually given in two installments so they give you the first installment within the first semester but the second installment normally uh they give it to you after you attain certain credits so that is uh after you've also been able to maintain your scholarship then they can give you the second installment so um this scholarship usually covers the bachelor's the master's and sometimes the phd grants as well they are usually covered within these uh, scholarships uh, but mainly it's usually the bachelor's and master's courses so um, they give you this grant for your first year of either bachelor's or, ma or master's course but in order for you to maintain this scholarship for your second year and third year normally you need to present credits uh, specific uh, certain credit requirements uh, so that is your exams so you need to pass a uh, certain exam and reach a certain amount of credits in order for you to maintain this scholarship so if by chance you do not get or reach these credits by the time you're renewing your scholarship to your second year then automatically you lose your scholarship so you just have to know just because you get your scholarship that doesn't mean that you need to relax once you get into the university you need to study in order for you to maintain it for your second and third year that is if you're in your bachelor's and if you're in your master's you need to maintain it for your second year so uh, these grants are something you can really take advantage of and study for free in Italy because that is generally what you need as a student to study because once you have the scholarship all you need to focus on is your studies uh, to pass your exams and maintain the scholarship yeah guys so I can say that uh, this somehow what makes studying in Italy 
really good and somehow um, makes it easy for you to study in Italy because you just have to basically focus more on your studies and how to pass your exams and you don't really like need to uh, think about part-time jobs and uh, other things so yeah uh, if you can take advantage of this opportunity and study in Italy so um, I hope this this uh, tips were helpful or this video was helpful and don't forget to subscribe to like and share i'll see you guys in the next one bye